Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create and uh, destroy blocks with command blocks. Okay, I guess that sounds a bit confusing. Uh, so I'm going to use two different blocks. Uh, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're probably going to want to turn on show coordinates. So you're going to go into your settings, alright? Uh, should be in game. And then you go down into, uh, I believe, oh no, it must be in world options. Uh, right below friendly fire, you turn on show coordinates, so now you can see your coordinates. The second thing you're going to want to do is you want to go into your chat. So I'm on PlayStation, so typing might take a while. And you want to go slash give, and then you're going to uh, do the at sign like this, and then you're going to do uh, lowercase s, so to give yourself. And then you're going to do command, so c-o-a-m-m-a-n-d underscore because you have to put underscores between words and then block and make sure everything's lowercase okay and it should yep. look like that and there we go i have a command block so now i'm going to put the command block down all right and say i want to put my block right here so i'm going to look at my coordinates and i see i'm at negative 61 for 108 so i'm going to put that there okay so now i'm going to put this here and i'm going to say uh fill and then I'm going to put in my coordinates which were uh, this negative uh, 61 4 and what was the last one let's go out for a second to figure out what it was uh, 108 okay so we so 61 4 and then 108 and now this is our first thing now we're gonna have to do the same thing because we want to decide where we're gonna fill up with air so we're gonna put uh, I forgot my negative sign we're gonna put that there again, and we're gonna put this here, and a 108, and then space, and now what we want to fill it up with. So to destroy a block, we're gonna want to do it with air, okay? So it should look just like that, all right? And now we should just kick out, and we're just gonna get a redstone thing, like, say, a lever, okay? So the lever, we're gonna stick it on the command block, and we are going to activate block it, fill. and as you can see, it destroyed the thing all right so i'm gonna just place it back there uh it was right there i believe and yeah if it's there oops one block there we go. Fill. so when you turn it off does nothing once you turn it on it destroys it but let's say we want to make it a bit more complex so now this one is for us to destroy and create the blocks again so now i'm going to make my lever and I'm gonna put my redstone system a little bit more like this I'm actually gonna need redstone torch as well all right and we're gonna throw down now my first command block and then this so that it'll continue and put a redstone torch so it should just look something like this and then a second one now the next thing we're gonna do uh, this is going to be something that gets very annoying if you don't do it. So I suggest you put in a command called game rule. All right, it's so game rule. All right. Oh, I forgot the slash. Okay, I'm going to fix that quickly. Uh, okay, so put make sure you have your slash in for any um, commands. So game rule, and then you're going to do a space. This one is going to be command block output. So command, I'm just going to use this. Command block out put and we're going to put this as false and the reason for this is because if we have it on whenever we have a repeat uh, command block so if we turn this to repeat uh, every t it's going to be activated every split second and it'll just show non-stop feedback which will be very annoying in the chat so instead when we turn it off it won't show so say we're doing a platform right and this time i'm going to make it a bit bigger so now i'm going to do it like this all right in an eight by eight but in the middle it's going to be negative 63 for 111. okay so we're going to go into here and do fill and then uh negative uh 63 and then four and then 111 and then the same command again uh negative uh, 63 4 111 and then uh, let's do I believe it's dark oak wood so or whatever type of block you're putting in so dark 
oak wood. I think that's how you do it. Uh, oops, I gotta fix that. And then wood. All right. Oh, hold on, I gotta fix something here. This needs an underscore in between it. That, okay, something's not right. Okay, something's wrong with this block. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I'm just gonna uh, skip over to the part where I'm done this. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I just had a little technical difficulty here. So, yeah, you're gonna fill in your things. Make sure when you do the slash fill part, it has to be lowercase. That was a problem. And then make sure these uh, first three coordinates are where you're doing it from, and the next three are where you're doing it to. Because I'm only doing a single block, they're gonna be the exact same. And then the last part is just the block you wanna fill it in with. So if I just kick out now, this will always be, uh, now it should always be wool. So now though, we are gonna do this other one, which will say slash fill, and then you're gonna do, your thing again, you're gonna do your uh, coordinates. Uh, so mine, remember, are negative 63, 4, 111, and then you're gonna do whatever your uh, coordinates are. You don't have to go to th these exact coordinates or something and do it for yours. So the first one is, it should be your X, your second one your Y, your third one your Z, and I'm gonna do this now, air. So now what happens, uh, this basically, when I turn this on, it'll turn this uh, thing on, but turn this uh, redstone torch off. Oh, by the way, I forgot. You have to put redstone dust on top. So there we go. If I turn it on, you now notice that this is off, meaning this is off. So now this is air. So that there is how to make uh, single blocks air. Uh, stick around if you want to see like larger things. If you want to make a larger array, I can just change, say, this one to... 113 and this one to 65 and then do this same for this so if I turn it off as you can see now it's quite a bit bigger and if I now do this with this one 113 and 65 and I turn it back off there you go and that is how you make uh, blocks appear and disappear with command blocks I hope you guys found this useful, especially you out there, uh, Mushu, uh, this video is actually dedicated to you uh, in your comment. So I hope you found this useful of all people and everyone else who's watching this, I hope you uh, picked up a thing or two. Comment if you still are confused about anything or if you need uh, something done better. Um, and just like how this helped you if it did please drop a like if you enjoyed uh subscribe if you're new to the channel we're looking for new people um and yeah i think that's about it for this video